Today we are making Mexican meatloaf. This is actually a super easy recipe. We're making it Mexican style. I also have a teriyaki style that I do, which I'll probably do at some point. It only takes a few seconds to put together and put either in the crock pot or in the oven. And then you have an easy dinner and a high protein dinner. Because this is so easy, I'm just gonna show you exactly how I make it, just already in the bowl. I start with a pound of very lean ground beef. It's about 93 or 90% lean. A quarter cup of pinko or Italian breadcrumbs. One package of taco seasoning, or you can do two tablespoons of my homemade taco seasoning. And one egg. Now I'm just going to mix this with my hands and then put it into my pan or into my crock pot. Once you have the meat mixture all mixed up, you want to put it in a pan or in your crock pot in a loaf shape. And then you're going to take your diced tomatoes and green chilies and you're going to drain them. And then you're going to take that mixture and spoon it or pour it over your whole meatloaf. You just want to get as many of the tomatoes on the meatloaf as possible. This is what's going to keep it nice and moist. And then you're going to put this in the oven for one hour or until the meat thermometer reads 155 degrees in the center. And you, if you don't have a meat thermometer, you can cut it in the center and double check and make sure it's cooked all the way through. And then we'll pull it out and I'll t show it to you and show you the next step. Pull Once the meatloaf is cooked, you're going to dish it up and you're going to sprinkle some cheese on it. Since your meatloaf is still super hot, it will actually melt the cheese on it for you. And if not, you can always pop it in the microwave to melt the cheese. Or you could sprinkle it when it's still in the slow cooker or the pan and then put it in for a little bit, few more minutes to melt the cheese whatever you would like to do and here it is all finished up and here it is all finished up it's cooked nice and brown in the center and I got the cheese melted I'm going to slice this up and I actually you can actually serve this up into six servings and I believe it's under 200 calories per serving and this is one of my husband's favorite meatloafs. Um, he's not into the traditional meatloaf, but he loves the Mexican one.